after a six day cross country journey, two very special little girls are safely back home in the Gem State. Callie and Carter Torres are six week old conjoined twins, but their parents want you to know these girls are two miracles. Six on your side's Marissa Morrison has their story. Callie's on the left, Carter's on the right. The Torres family is home in eastern Idaho after delivering Callie and Carter in Texas. A stay in the NICU followed by the car ride home has parents Chelsea and Nick looking forward to some downtime to get to know their daughters. We um, don't really know them exactly and then the times we do know them they're mainly in the car or they're crying at night. So we're still trying to get to know everybody and get used to this new lifestyle. Part of their new lifestyle is dealing with some unwanted attention from strangers. Some people are like, oh, look, there's twins, there's babies. And then they kind of look a little bit more and they're like, oh, and you can see when the light bulb clicks in their head that they finally realize kind of what's going on. The girls share everything from the pelvis down. But they told us that they didn't want to separate them because they were healthy right now. So separation is kind of just off the table because normally when twins need to be separated, it's because they have issues. Everyone just kind of says they're like regular newborns. They're just conjoined. Like all parents, Chelsea and Nick are concerned for their daughter's future. It, it worries me every day. It's something that's kind of always on my mind of what we need to do and what the challenges that we need to face and then also the girls that need to face because they're the ones that are living through this. After being advised to terminate the pregnancy, Chelsea says she hopes their story will raise awareness about conjoined twins and high-risk pregnancies. Doctors, um, they don't see this very often, so they say that termination is the best option, but in some cases it might be the best option but we were told countless times to terminate and to terminate that they would not make it, but they made it. So it's more of an awareness that this is something that can happen and it could happen to just anybody. Reporting in Iona. They are different, but they're miracle babies also. Marissa Morrison, six on your side. Now Nick and Chelsea say they expect their girls to learn how to crawl and walk. They'll just do it on their own time and in their own way.